good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Antonia Naidenov, and I'm a contract specialist at the UNICEF uh, Supply Division. Uh, I'm pleased to have the opportunity today to provide you an update on the procurement of uh, cholera vaccine. And in today's presentation, uh, I'll help by giving you an overview of uh, the contractual frameworks uh, that will be enabling uh, access to color vaccine through the end of 2023. Uh, then we will speak about the procurement of, uh, uh, of color vaccine through UNICEF and how this evolved over the years. And lastly, uh, uh, I will summarize by providing you some operational feedback from uh, the supply and procurement perspective. Next slide, please. So um, uh, the supply of uh, cholera vaccine through UNICEF is uh, channeled through uh, supply arrangements with uh, two, currently with two manufacturers. Uh, and it is our projection that in the next uh, two years, uh, these arrangements will provide us access to um, nearly 80 million doses of uh, cholera vaccine. Uh, thanks to our suppliers' continued commitment in fighting cholera, um, through continuous production and supply of vaccines, we are very pleased that uh, offers from suppliers for 22 and 23 uh, will uh, allow us to project continued availability and uh, therefore will permit increased supply also to preventive campaigns. Uh, for 2022, suppliers have held for their maximum capacity of approximately 37 million uh, doses uh, in 22 and uh, 39 million doses in 23. And with this, uh, it's our projection that uh, the emergency stockpile uh, will, will be maintained. Uh, we can maintain the emergency stockpile of 3 million doses. Uh, similar to previous years, uh, what we are expecting is to see that the actual availability will be adjusted uh, and will be depending on demand materializing. We have seen and are expecting also to see the suppliers to actively adjust the production to, uh, to match the realistically forecast demand, uh, which we have seen is evolving uh, throughout the year. Uh, this is primarily done uh, in an effort to manage the upstream supply operations, but also ensuring that the vaccines with optimal shelf life is delivered to countries when and as needed. Next slide, please. Next slide. Thank you. Uh, in terms of procurement volumes, uh, with uh, with the increased availability. Missy, we just that you have Just to Can you move? 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 Can I can, can I ask uh, that someone mutes, please? Yes, thank you. Uh, in terms of procurement volumes with the increased availability, we have seen a trend that is enabling more frequent and larger shipments uh, to, to countries for both outbreak response and preventive campaigns, with the caveat that 2020 was very unusual uh, and uh, due to COVID pandemic, uh, where we have seen a drastic drop uh, in demand and procurement. In the past five years, uh, we delivered nearly 90 million doses to 20 countries, of which little over half of this quantity was delivered to preventive campaigns. As you can see on the slide, uh, procurement and deliveries for outbreak response since uh, 2007 has been relatively stable and in the range of five to six million, million doses annually. However, both in 2019 and 2021, we have seen a steep increase, both in terms of number of requests, but also of size of uh, this request for uh, outbreak response. Next slide, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, in the previous slides, we briefly focused on the uh, uh, and, and spoke about the uh, emergency stockpile and the uh, the volumes uh, procured of outbreak response. As many as you know, uh, you know, the decisions uh, for deployment of vaccines needed to respond to cholera outbreaks is governed by the ICG, and based on the recommendation put uh, forward by ICG, three million doses of cholera vaccines are required to be uh, maintained at all times in the stockpile. Uh, the stockpile is funded by Gavi and UNICEF is the procurement agency interested to manage the supply of the vaccines. Uh, from supply perspective, the cholera vaccine emergency stockpile is a revolving stockpile maintained by two manufacturers. 
And the thing the, the vaccines also kept at manufacturers' premises, uh, which enables rapid deliveries of fresh batches of vaccines to, to countries. Uh, in the past five years, nearly 44 million doses of cholera vaccines were shipped for outbreak response, where over 25% of this uh, quantity was supplied during 2021. As you can see, uh, to date, we have delivered almost 14 million uh, doses for outbreak response um, solely in 2021, and the year is, uh, is not over yet. Um, during the past year, the stockpile level was maintained at 3 million doses, except the brief periods uh, in March and May, and was lowest during September after multiple large shipments uh, for outbreak response um, uh, took place at the same time and before replacement stock uh, could be made available. Uh, of course, to overcome uh, the challenges during these periods, we had to work together with, uh, with the partners and also with countries uh, in designing optimal uh, delivery scenarios with the aim of accelerating uh, availability, uh, but also uh, to, uh, for outbreak response, of course, but also to make sure that we are not compromising deliveries uh, to countries uh, for, uh, for their plant preventive uh, campaigns. Next slide, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, so in this uh, final slide, uh, I've captured some of the operational feedback for 2021, which is mainly structured around the processes and the logistics. But let me first uh, uh, start by highlighting uh, what worked really well uh, during the past year. Uh, based on our experience, we have seen a lot of engagement and agility from the manufacturers uh, in, in terms of availability of supplies, but also swift response for orders for outbreak response and preventive campaigns. On the demand side, uh, it is our observation that there is a room for improvement mainly in two areas. First and foremost, on the long-term planning for preventive campaigns uh, that by itself will enable increased availability. And uh, secondly, the planning for shipments for on the second uh, around uh, those for outbreak response. Uh, the past year hasn't been without challenges. Uh, as mentioned earlier during the presentation, the stockpile recorded low levels a couple of times during the year and put additional pressure uh, on the manufacturer to swiftly, uh, swiftly ensure replenishment. Uh, what uh, we've experienced is that uh, there were multiple instances where countries' readiness to receive uh, large shipments, especially for outbreak response in a short notice, was uh, problematic. Um, uh, culture uh, storage capacity at countries was, uh, was limited. Uh, and uh, we have also seen that a number of countries have expressed preference uh, to receive a vaccine that has been previously shipped to the country. And with this, of course, uh, will require usually a reallocation and prioritization of available supplies. And lastly, uh, to conclude, uh, in the past year, one of the greatest challenges has been uh, around the availability of commercial air cargo capacity, which will most likely affect the delivery timelines also during uh, 2022. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, I will be happy to take this.